Warning, the following content may be upsetting to sensitive viewers. Please be prepared to avert your eyes. Hello everyone, welcome back to the Big Bad Bench. Today we're going to be working on, well, we're not going to work on a Macintosh 2SI, but we're going to check out a Macintosh 2SI that I purchased on eBay. Uh, I paid about $65 for this piece of e-waste. Um, so it's going to be gross. It's going to be pretty bad. Um, so on the Big Bad Bench, I have a 2SI running right now, and you can see behind me the, uh, the after dark running. The, the Macintosh 2SI is a nice little system. It's kind of like an LC, but you get a PDS slot. Um, it's got a bunch of RAM slots. You can see there's no place for a math coprocessor, so that was a little bit um, of, a, of a letdown for it. Um, it ran at about 25 megahertz normally, um, but you could overclock it. Um, you can see actually, well, we can kind of see um, that there's a chip. The clock oscillator right there is not physically attached to the board. I have it installed in a socket. Um, and it, that's actually a 60 megahertz oscillator, which means that our processor is currently running at 30 megahertz. Um, so, you know, the, you can have a little bit of fun with a, with a 2SI. Um, but the 2SI is known for some problems. The power supply has like the leakiest caps that have ever capped. Um, the battery is prone to explode. So there's some things you have to do to it. And I bought one where the battery actually exploded. Um, the other neat thing about the 2SI is that you can buy these riser cards for it. Um, the riser cards will often have a math coprocessor, which is that guy right there. And also you can convert it, the PDS slot to a, a new bus slot, which I used to put another video card in this one. Um, so yeah, they're, they're, they're versatile. Um, the case is a little bit bigger um, than your regular LC, but they were meant to be kind of cheaper than the other ones. So it's, it, they're kind of a neat system. Um, so let me say hi folk, to folks in the chat, and then we will get to unboxing this awful piece of mess that I, made, that I bought. So we got everything is Broken Garage, Frank S, Garth Beagle, Gut Bomb, III DIY, Justin D. Morgan, Mike McGregor. Welcome, Mike McGregor. Um, <laughs> Justin D. Morgan is feeling better today, even though the um, trees bloomed yesterday. Well, that means the pollen might have gone down a little bit. I don't know. Did it rain? Um, but it's good to hear you're doing better. Um, <laughs> Justin D. Morgan says, please wear gloves for that 2SI. Shoot, yeah, I probably should be wearing gloves today. Um, let me show you real quick. Um, do I have Apple Personal Diagnostics? Katrina's Techno Bible, did I say hi to you? Um, oh, yeah, let's switch over to this thing for a second. Okay, system info. And you can see we have a 68030. Well, you can sort of see that we have a 68030 at 30 megahertz, which normally this is a 50 megahertz system. Um, it also has one mega RAM on the logic board. You can use four meg SIMs to bring it up. So this is currently at 16 megs of RAM. All right, so let's shut this thing down. It's also neat. It has soft power, which is cool. Um, let's go back to here. The other thing I love about the 2SI is that when paired with a 12-inch Apple RGB display, it looks like an all-in-one computer. Yeah, the, the um, curvature on the front of the case matches the Apple 12-inch RGB display. So here's one of my functioning 2SIs. I have two functioning 2SIs. I also had previously bought an e-waste 2SI. I don't know why I like buying e-waste 2SIs. I buy them like Justin D. Morgan buys Trident video cards. Um, uh, so, the well, the reason I bought the other e-waste 2SI is because it had this riser in it. Um, yeah. Let 
Mike McGregor says, or Frank S says, I have a sticker that states safety first, just kidding, coffee first. Safety is like third or fourth, yeah, pretty much. Okay, so here we go. Let's see what this, it actually feels like they packaged this thing pretty well, but of course that's how it works. You buy e-waste and they package the e-waste well, you buy something useful and they don't package it well, but whatever, I appreciate it. So I think that overall the, the computer was actually like $40 and the shipping was 25. So. Try, uh, Justin D. Morgan says Trident cards don't usually get battery bombed. That is a good point. All right, so it came with a video cable, only a slightly moldy video cable, so that's good. Warning, choking hazard. Don't choke on this. All right, well, you can always use more of these cables. Down. All right, no peanuts, so that's good. Only bubble wrap. Oh, I hear things clinking around in here. Set that aside. I did a decent job with the packaging. I think I see rust poking through here already. careful with the razor blade. I don't want to scratch the case. This case is actually in a decent shape. Oh yeah, they have it sealed up like it's asbestos. <laughs> oh, it feels gritty. I can feel like, oh yeah. Oh, look at this. Look at all that. Oh, this is going to be a nightmare. You can see all the rust coming through. No wonder it's in like a hazmat bag. All right, there's no turning back now. Flavor bits. <laughs> the big bad bench is gonna be really bad. Forbidden pepper. <laughs> you can see we have some yellowing. We can hear things clunking around. There, this can only mean good things. You can see some yellowing. These things are known for their yellowing. My other one has been retrobrighted. Okay, here we go. Oh, good God. Okay, well, one good thing is it has the hard drive bracket. I needed one of those. <laughs> right, let's start with the hard drive. Oh, God. Hey, one bit. Ugh. A little bit of mold in here. Yeah, I should be wearing gloves. Oh well. What doesn't kill you makes you stronger. I think we're gonna try to spin this thing up today. So I don't know if that means that it's a 240 meg. I don't think that would be right. Okay, so here's the reason I bought this thing. Frank S. says, I think I'm going to hurl. Um, 
<laughs> the logic board looks like the floor in that scene with the acid from Breaking Bad. Yeah, pretty much. So the weird bit here is we have this card, and I don't know what this card is. So I, it's it kind of looks like it might be a TV out card, which I couldn't find any information about those online. Oh, it came out. Here's our battery thing. Let's take a look at this battery thing. I wonder if it's holding any voltage. Look at that. What a friggin' mess. That is awful. All right, let's see if our riser looks okay. It looks okay. Okay. Check the voltage. <laughs> What's up, Eric? Eric's Edge is here. How's it going, Eric? Um, so you can see this riser has a slot or socket for the math coprocessor. You can see this is a super Mac something or other. Assay no, uh, assembly number zero 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 seven five four two dash zero 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 one rev B. Ooh, it's got an LED on it. <laughs> hmm. I wonder what the heck this thing is. So the weird bit is, right, if we look at, at this, right, here's our PDS. It goes to um, new bus. This one is PDS to two new, to two PDSs, which is really weird. So. That's something. I can't let. Well, one of the reasons I want to pop in this hard drive is I'm wondering if there's software for this card. So if we look on the back of the card, um, the only thing that's kind of sort of coming through is an RCA cable or RCA port that is very rusty. This thing must have been stored in the ocean. Cowan, welcome. I grabbed a 950 this weekend with battery damage. I was bummed about it until I saw this machine. Thanks. <laughs> I'm always will happy to help out, um, help out folks. Here's the card again. I love that it has a little LED on it. How cool is that? There's the back. It's really wild because it's like screwed onto there. Like if you look at my other riser, you get the riser and you get these things that are, you know, oh, I guess that comes with like adapting it. Hmm. But yeah, this thing is screwed on tightly to this metal backplane. All right, let's go into this thing a little further. Okay, so we have both battery damage and capacitor damage. At least this little cable looks like it's in okay shape. <laughs> this, uh, this is very moldy. Mm. Oh, then that, that's stuck in there. I think what we're going to do is hit it with a little deoxid. I'd really like to get these ram sticks out of there. Use it as like a little lubricant. Let's take our floppy drive out. Might be a Super Mac video spigot. So would that be a video in card? Video capture card? Okay, we got some rust on our floppy drive. That's never a great thing. Oh, <laughs> so remember that crystal oscillator I was telling you about? Oh, all the crystal oscillators are floating around. Wow, that's awesome. I have not seen them that bad. 
There's one under here. Look at that. We'll go under the microscope in a bit so you can see this in more detail. But yeah, look at those. Look at those cans. All right, let's get our power supply out of here if we can. It might kind of be welded. Oh, that actually, that actually came out reasonably well. Oh, look at this. Oh, <laughs> look at the color. Oh, that's bad. Oh, that's so bad. Oh yeah, that'll buff right out. Okay. This just keeps getting better and better. <clears throat> Set that on the floor. Okay, and then there's this thing. You pinch in the fan like this and then slide it up to take it off. At least the fan Look at the caked in nastiness there. Wow. Eesh. That's going on the floor too. <clears throat> yeah, Gut Bomb's got to be feeling this, this stream. Oh, there's the other can, the other oscillator. <laughs> Hiding under the logic board. Look at that. Oof. Trying to take that cable out. That's not budging. This one is budging. There we go. Oh, it's a little crusty. A little crusty in there. Where are they smoking reefers? <laughs> Good one, Eric. Okay, so to take the logic board out of these things, there's just two little tabs here and here. And you slide forward ever so easily. As long as your logic board is encroded onto the frame. Which we obviously are here. Oh, yeah. Oh, that thing's in there good. It budged. There we go. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. It went all the way through. Look at that. What a mess. Here's a close up. You might need to avert your eyes. Look at that. Look at this. <laughs> the ram slots. The, the ram legs. Oh, wow. Hey, Retro Fox. I apologize if someone else has popped in that I haven't seen yet. See if we'll be able to save these ram sticks. Frank S says, oh gosh, I think I heard it scream. <laughs> All right. So the rest of the case doesn't look bad. Listen. <laughs> oh, this is nasty. I'm dumping it on top of this plastic bag that it came in. All right. So for my next giveaway, when I reach a thousand subscribers, <laughs> no, I don't think this is going anywhere. Wow. All right, let's, um, let's pop this in the microscope so you can see some of this gore a little bit better. <laughs> Justin D. Morgan bestows an honorary wheel of regret spin for this purchase. I don't regret it yet. I don't regret it yet. This thing is, is kind of interesting to me. It's, this is the reason I bought it. So I'm looking forward to this. But 
Callan says, just a couple jumper wires, and that'll be good to go. <laughs> Gapam says, that it's time to say goodbye. <laughs> oh, come on. It's fun. This is fun. Oh, my God. Okay, here we go. Let's turn down our light just a little bit. Look at that. Look at that. Look at all those little poor resistors. Uh, what the hell is that? Oh, that's like a layer of metal. There's legs missing from that chip. 74 LS chips. <laughs> oh. I'm not even sure what I'll be able to use off of this thing. So I have another one. Um, that it, it was bad. Um, forget if this is the chip off of the other board. Uh, where are we at here? But you can see it's missing some legs. So I don't think we're going to... <clears throat> replace the other board's chip with this one. Like Pizza the Hut. I'm going to slide left a little bit. Sorry for shaky cam. Oof. It even like encouraged cap leakage out of there. Look at the trace. It's just like swollen. There's like the big nastiness. Yeah, so part of the reason I'm doing this stream right now is um, I need to, to run into work this afternoon after I fix my car. <laughs> I've got a lot of stuff happening today. Um, so when I go in, I'm going to stick this thing in the ultrasonic bath and uh, see what happens. See what it looks like after we clean it up. Oh, that's already better. Look at that. That'll, that'll clean right up. Look at that color. I've never seen that, that bright of an orange on a logic board before. It's like they like poured acid syrup on here. Yeah, so I'll still be doing my normal Saturday stream tomorrow. This was just a quick little emergency stream. Let's see what the inside of this thing looks like. I wanted you to feel my pain when I opened this. Or to point and laugh. Whatever is, is useful for you. Okay, we're gonna just slowly wiggle this. This is Sim. It's slowly coming. Eighty nanosecond. That would make me think that this is most likely a um, one meg sim, unfortunately. But won't know until we clean it up and try it out. We're gonna try this sim out tomorrow. Oh, look at that! I don't know. Maybe we won't. I don't know if there's any copper left there at those traces. That's pretty bad. <laughs> Retro Fox says I'm gonna hug my 2SI and cover its eyes. <laughs> yeah, don't don't let your 2SI see what's happening right now. Okay, let's um, pop that out. At least I think the other three Sims will be useful. I think they'll be recoverable. We'll see if we can get that one to work. That one is pretty bad. There's, look at the corrosion in there. That is just awful. Oof. Oof. But the other ones, oh. That one does have a little bit there. There's two good ones. We could use them in a LC2 or an LC. 
or maybe in a Mac Classic. Oh, all right, let's finish looking around here. The colors, man, the colors. I don't know if it's me breathing in some kind of fumes. These colors are kind of pretty. This could be one of the worst. So I'll, I'll uh, ultrasonic it this afternoon and then we'll take a look at it tomorrow, what it looks like when it comes out of the ultrasonic. What a friggin' mess. <laughs> I, I DIY says, so sounds like I took a hit of the acid syrup. Look at this, look at this cap. Look at that cap. What is happening with that cap? It's like the wrapper around it and it like look at that it's the inside of the cap neat i've never seen one do that before <laughs> oh this thing is so nasty i'll make sure to pull out my other 2si board so that we can compare it um but this chip seems to be the one that gets hit a lot um, I, on, on the 2SI that I had booted up earlier, I actually replaced the CPU in that one. It was bad when I got it. And so, oh, these are 20 megahertz by default. That's right. They're 20 megahertz, but you can go to, to, um, 25 very easily. Um, and ultimately you can go up to 28 megahertz and then the, the floppy drive stop working. Um. Gut Bomb says, I'm just going to have murky water by the time the ultrasonic is done. <laughs> Justin D. Morgan says, I don't recommend the battery leak method of capacitive removal. I had a, um, I, I was doing construction on my old house and um, basically like one of the, the, um, uh, studs had been rotten from like the shower leaking for 30 years and um the my conclusion was they were just trying to see if if the stud was structural or not so i think the same kind of thing is happening here like let's let's see if we can remove something with battery corrosion all right so let's set this thing aside i'm gonna i'm gonna wrap that up Let's go back to here. If anyone wants the more zoomed out view of this thing. There are a lot of bad traces and stuff. This thing is not going to be recoverable, but hopefully we'll, we'll get something useful out of it. We'll see. All right, let's set that aside. You can, you can keep all your bits on the inside here. Oh, God. Going to set you down. Oh. Let's see if this hard drive spins up. We're going to leave that in the bag until I have a chance to clean it. Um, 2SI primordial ooze. Yeah. All right. So I cleaned my hands a little bit. Here we go. All right. So we know this thing boots. We just, I just showed you that it boots. We're going to take out our blue SCSI. All right, so what are we thinking with our chances of whether this thing's gonna spin up or not? <sighs> yeah, that was gross. <sighs> Who's giving me odds?
Everything is broken garage says 2.798%. Okay. Trina says $20. The drive is DOA. I don't know if I would take that action, Trina. I think you're going to be right. Okay, here we go. In three, two, one, I'm going to keep my speaker or my microphone. Here we go. Oh, it's not spinning. No spinning. The LED won't work. It broke. All right. Let's shut that down. All right. So what we're going to do, since there's very little chance of this thing, oh, I just got nasty dust in there, being useful for very long. We're gonna, we're gonna take that lid off and try to spin it up. Let's see what happens. I forget if we need to take both of these off or not. It's been a while since I abused one of these drives. I guess our warranty is void. Hey, Mr. Kramer, give it a good slap on the side. Yeah, I did give it a slap, but it didn't do anything. Um, okay, what do we need? We need a little thing. I just invalidated the warranty, yeah. Quantum is gonna be mad with me. Things are so annoying. Okay, there's that one down. Um, what are these T8s? Oops, set that over there. There we go. The worst case, you can get some great magnets. Yeah. Eric wants me to fix the LED <laughs> LED. Trina really wants one of my pluses. Maybe I'll do a Mac Plus giveaway for my 1024 giveaway. All right. Wow. So, I don't know if that's gonna come through, but you can see a lot of lines. That's a lot of lines. And the head, oh, the head was attached and it just popped off. That's gone. That's dead. 
She's dead, Jim. All right, well, that one's toast. <laughs> wow, that's like welded on there. Let's, uh, let's hop back under the microscope. <laughs> wah, wah. Um, Well, that's kind of a neat effect. There, it came off nice and easy now. Who knows what the other ones are doing. That'll work. That'll work, no problem. Look at that spot. Yeah, oh yeah. These platters will work great in another system. <laughs> Try to glue it back. I think I might dragon lard. Welcome dragon lard. Um, let's see. I need this is so not going to work, but I don't care. We're going to have fun with it. We're going to have fun with it. Gonna just put a little dot of glue right there. Oh, yeah, that's perfect. Oh, we are going to glue the head right to the platter. This is going to be perfect. There will be absolutely nothing wrong with what happens here. <laughs> I, I, I DIY says the spot is where the rare Mac super driver, the, the super Mac TV drivers are. Yeah, exactly. March 15th, the day Big Bad became a data rescue engineer. Oh, the data rescue folks don't have my, my skills. I should also mention that technically, um, March 15th is the two year anniversary of my channel. Woo. And look at what we're doing two years later. We are getting jankier by the day. How great is this? <laughs> oh yeah, that's gonna ride along like a cloud. I can't hear it scraping at all. The computer took a number two for my number two. <laughs> uh, all right. So there's these things too that when things don't spin up right, they tend to not let the head move. So you can see our head's going out this way. I'd kind of like to bring it close to the edge to see if any of the other heads are around. Hmm. 
Hmm. Oh yeah, this is not going to work, but it's fun. We have our fun here at the Big Bad Bench, don't we? Yeah, we're going to groove up our platters real good. And we're going to watch it happen. I think the second head is also moved. Ah, uh, well. It's all fun and games until a platter head spins up and uh, hits you in the eye. Yep. Basically, that's how it happens. Oh, yeah, this is, this is so not going to work. Oh yeah, that's gonna that's gonna drag real good. All right, let's watch this thing die. Let's zoom in a little so we can see this happen. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I need to go put brakes on my car after this. I hope it goes better. All right, here we go. Three, two, one. Oh, look at the grooves. Oh, we have flashing question mark. Who could have predicted that? <laughs> oh, well, we tried. Well, we didn't really try. We had fun, though. Yeah, it sounds great. Oh, it sounded even better by the second. <laughs> Check the termination. <laughs> yeah, we might actually be able to get some terminating resistors off of this thing. That's always useful. Use blue SCSI backup mode. Yeah, because that just re automatically fixes everything. It actually kind of polished some of the mess off of there. That's funny. All right. Well, I'm going to have to look this card up and uh, see if I can find drivers for it. I also need to do something about that connector. That looks awful. But, uh, yeah. How fun was this? Well, we'll see if it was fun. I'm really excited to play with this. All right. So, um, tomorrow we're going to stream again at uh, noon like normal. This was just a little quick emergency stream. I've been doing some more soldering and reading about potentially putting a 68030 in place of a 68,000. I'm 99.9999% sure it's not going to work, but I think I'm going to try to to bang this out anyway and let's see what happens tomorrow. Um, trying to get this 68030 in the plus. In any case, we're actually going to um, rebuild that Classic 2. Uh, the retro brighting is done. The Classic 2 looks really nice. Um, and so we'll reassemble that system, get it all put back together and looking pretty. Um, so yeah, that's what's tomorrow's stream. So make sure to tune in tomorrow at noon. Um, and don't forget that Trina and Gut Bomb are going to stream today at 2 this afternoon. And yes, Eric. Well, Eric needs to be a mod. 
let's let's make Eric a mod. Um, there we go. Um, Eric, if you want to put your link in the chat, Eric's been streaming at 9 a.m. on Saturdays, which has been awesome. Always fun to see more Eric. Um, so yeah, thank you all for for stopping by today. Oh, and Old World Tech Friday is is this night to is this night Friday night at eight o'clock Eastern time. I think it's eight o'clock Eastern time. <sighs> is that it? All right. Well. Thank you all for popping in. I know this was a uh, weird stream. Hit the like button if you don't mind. That would be kind of awesome. Um, and yeah, tune back in tomorrow for um, some, some silliness and some good stuff. Have a nice day, y'all. Oh, no, no. We don't want this. Say goodbye, John. Goodbye, John.